do some Q&A, huh? So where, oh, here we go. Ah, da, 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 da. Kruger says Bitcoin and Cardano. Let's see why is the problem. Brian said, I thought China banned miners. You know what's interesting about that? I did too. There is. Eh, that's not it. If I can find it. This is it. From Cambridge University. Oh. Let me show this to you. This is from Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index. And the mining map visualization. Oh, they haven't updated yet. But if you, I mean, even December 2021, when did China ban mining? Was it before 2021? Because when you take a look at this, let's go mainland China. You can still see that there's still pockets of people mining Bitcoin. Now, does that mean that uh, they should be doing that? No, but uh, it's amazing how you can get around some things you really try. So I find that very interesting how to say this. <laughs> Them ads can be long, you can't skip. You know what I do? I use, uh, I, I pay for uh, YouTube Premium, or whatever it's called, because I've only got so much, so many, so much time on this planet and I want to waste watching ads, so. Memes here, Tesla's here, Never's here, not me. <laughs> Fancy Pants, Darth Mike, Golfer. London, Aloha. Ha, ha, ha. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, we used to do a lot of live streams, but it got to be too much. So now we just do one live stream, usually on a Sunday, and that's it. So Meme says, hey, Rob, we do another sweat coin competition. I had the motivation. Probably not. Not for a while. It was um, it was an interesting experience. If you don't know, uh, well, first of all, you don't know, I'm super biased on this channel. I usually only talk about the cryptos that I own because why would I talk about anything else? No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I do talk about other things. Like we did a video on Solana uh, a couple of days ago, and I was pretty positive about it, but I don't. I own a little bit of Solana, but I don't dollar cost average it. I don't plan to get into it any more than what it is. But uh, Sweatcoin, I own a good amount of it. And um, we did a Sweatcoin competition. It was pretty fun because it's free. You download the app, you walk, and then you get a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, the winner, because we had winners one through 30. And like number one, got like a Ledger Nano X. They got 2,000 Sweatcoins. They got uh, lifetime membership to token metrics. Uh, also, Ben's website in the Cryptoverse and meld tokens, just a ton of stuff. So we do that. But I don't think I'm going to do that for a while. Uh, let's see. How can, Brian says, how can you stop Bitcoin on the Chinese network? Disable the IP address and that's, and there is the satellites that come with the ground, hard to stop. I don't know. I don't know if they can use a VPN and get around that or or not. Let's see. What's what's up with that CG? It's just uh, it's just my sweet green screen. Pi Network will boom. Are they going to make a Rob character in the game? Probably. I mean, I think. Uh, any any prospect with a white beard looks like me. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Yeah, Brian says, then there's the VPN of the U.S. to conduct your transactions. Paying the pipe is open. Yeah, good point. Josh says, this is S graphics. Look, those graphics I just saw were a lot better than the other games as far as blockchain gaming. So I'll give it to them. Yeah, I can retire. And here's another thing. Uh, everybody says, I can retire in a million. You, depending on where you live, you probably can. But then the question becomes, what do you do? On it with a million dollars, and people say, I, "I know exactly what I'll do. I'll just, you know, 
I'll travel and I'll party and I'll visit all these places and it'll be awesome and then it'll be good. And, uh, you know, I'll drink to excess and trust me, retirement sucks. I've done it a couple of times. It's very, very boring. Uh, you have to have some kind of like purpose or some kind of grind that you do. Cause if not, it's kind of boring. <laughs> the dogs are lagging. Vicky's here. Like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll be begging. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking a job at Walmart, being a greeter. I can do that right this way. Cart's over there. Welcome to Walmart. I can do that. Uh, oh, yeah. Darth Mike says, that fake Michael Saylor clip is so funny. Had to buy some pudgy penguins just to feel something. There's a there's a video going around, so if you don't know, it look it sounds like it's from AI, and it sounds kind of like Michael Saylor, but it's not that I know of, but it sounds really ridiculous. And it's Michael Saylor saying, you know, hey, I'm trying to get this Bitcoin position. I'm over my head. I'm just waiting to break even, and da 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 da. And uh, it doesn't doesn't really sound like him, but enough to where people were like, is that really him? But no, I'm not playing that clip. Nasha says you're out of play. I am not playing that clip. There are there are FUD things that I like to I like to that I bring to people's attention to protect them. But there's stuff like that. I'm like, that's kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna leave that out there. Dogecoin. Dogecoin live. That's a good one. Make a plan and stick with it. Exactly. I don't care if it's a crappy plan, just stick with the plan. It's better than no plan, that's for sure. <laughs> if you got a mortgage at 1%, if you got a mortgage at 1%, I need to talk to you because how the hell did you get that? And a student loan that tracks inflation, you probably don't want to pay that down. No, you don't. Uh, perfectly inflation. Yeah, I don't know. But a mortgage at 1%, look, a mortgage at anything between 3.5 and, and in the fours, you probably don't want to refinance depending on how much time you have because right now, why would you refinance a mortgage? You probably want to pay that down a little more. But then again, you know, there's also one more thing you have to think about. If you pay off your mortgage totally, then you own the house. If you own the house and someone decides to sue you, you as an individual, not as a corporation, that could be liable because you own the house. However, when somebody wants to sue you for whatever reason it is, they're like, well, let's see what they, what they actually have. And if you're like, wow, they got a massive amount of debt. They got this mortgage. Maybe they have another mortgage. They got a car payment. They got a child support. I'm not going to pay this person. They're broke. So sometimes it's just better just to do this. This is not financial advice, but uh, you just say, okay, well, my house is paid off. Maybe I get a loan and do something with that. And of course, somebody wants to sue me. They're like, this guy's got a loan on his, on his house. I can't sue him. And then of course you do whatever you want with that money. Whether that be, I'm not going to get into it. I've already said too much because then someone's like, Rob, I took a loan off my house and now I'm broke. And I, I blame you. Of course you do. Ooh, thank you. It is a good green screen. It's very tough to pull off. <laughs> All my advice is do what I say, not what I do. Jesus, crime and crisp. It was negative 10 here yesterday. Ugh. Tom's good? Tom's good. I don't want to play it. I don't want It's just so goofy. Avalanche in the top 10 next bull run thoughts to keep getting these massive partnerships like with Amazon and things like that. Sure. Why not? I got a good amount of avalanche though. That's one of my ones I'm dollar cost averaging right now. So we'll see. <sighs> Brian says I'm working on retiring in Argentina. What's been the most challenges for you, Rob? Do you have a virtual mailbox or use them? No. Um, so you never go, I've never, I've retired a couple of times and it was boring. So I never, I don't really stay retired. I guess you can say I'm retired here. All I really, I mean, really, I mean, the Amazon business is pretty much on its autopilot. And then the short-term rentals and long-term rentals, they we have a management company. So, I mean, but even if you have a management company, sometimes you still got to manage the management company. So like, guess what I was doing yesterday? So yesterday after I did my, I, I put out a video late. And the reason why I did a video late is because the cleaning crew couldn't show up for one of the condos. So who gets to clean those condos? This guy. That's right. 
So I cleaned the condo because we had we had a group that was there for five days and another group that was coming in for 10 days. So it's just how it goes. As a business owner, you just, do whatever. no job is beneath me. No, no job. I've done a lot of stuff. Does anything, does anyone think mining will come back like it did in ETH? What are, are there any more, how many, how many more proof of work projects are out there? Jay Church, how to redeem sweat coin comes from church. If your username is church 777 or something like that, I sent you a message via the sweat coin app. So look at that. Look at your messages in the sweat coin app. Have you looked at any AI tokens? No, I have not. But probably be a pretty big thing. It just depends. YouTube Premium is well worth it. I got to agree. Six and... I don't know. London says, you believe that they have money to make money? 100K salary is enough anymore to be able to live decently, save and invest in the USA. Somewhat. But think of it this way. Like, if you make 100K, well, it depends on everything, right? It depends on where you live. It depends on not just the low, well, it does look on everything. It depends on if you live in, say, uh, like let's say Denver or Austin, or let's say you live in Dubai, right? For those places, I mean, it's astronomical, uh, the, the amount, maybe not Denver, Austin, we'll say. Austin, Los Angeles, Dubai. Those are pretty high places to live. But let's say you, you live in like uh, Dubuque, Iowa or something. And uh, you make $100,000. You're probably doing pretty well. And then if you could take... That and as long as you're not living in, you know, like as long as your mortgage isn't more than fifty percent, fifty-five percent of your of your income, probably do okay depending on how much you have as far as credit card debts, how many kids you have, what's your cost of living. I mean, everything that, that takes into it. But if you can just put a little bit and dollar cost average into crypto, look, I was having a hard time in 2017, 2018 with my businesses, and I was still able to sock away a decent amount. And one of the biggest returns was Cardano, actually. And we took a look at that. Actually, we took a look at that yesterday. It was like uh, from 2018 to 2021 at the top, it was like a 39X from what it was. So just imagine like every 100 bucks you, you put in, you're getting 3,900 bucks. Not bad. So imagine how well you could do that over two years, three years. Just saying. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I miss everyone here in the chat. Yeah, we had a nice little thing going there for didn't didn't we? We had a lot of you know when we're doing this this dailies, but it just gets too much. Like these things, like people have only so much time and it's fun, but for the majority, like it was getting it was wearing on me too. So we just do it once a once a week. Super Bowl winner. Well, Jim Cramer thinks it's going to be the Eagles. Eagles. Let's see. I'm currently thinking it's going to be the Eagles, so probably the Chiefs. Who knows? When will you DCAing? Frank the Tank, uh, watch the video yesterday. Tell you all you need to know. Rob, are you going to DeFi? Have any liquidity positions? I do not. I'm not. I still have, uh, I have Aave and I have uh, the Uniswap token, but uh, that's it. Sativa. Let's see. Uh, when will Polygon ZK Rollups be implemented? I didn't, they just put out a tweet. We covered this a couple of days ago where it's going to be happening relatively soon. So I was thinking that was going to happen uh, the next couple of weeks in February. But who knows? They said soon. I would love that. It's happening soon. <laughs> Can you do a shot about how silver to paper ratio on the debt clock? No, I'm not a big metals guy. I still, I own gold and silver. Just 
not a lot of it. <laughs> what do you think of investing in advanced anti-balloon technology? I don't know why we didn't shoot the balloon out of the sky when we first saw it. We let it roam freely across the United States for days. Why? What was the point of that? Yeah, Becky says, Cornucopius on Unreal Engine 5 will be a great game. Yeah, built on Cardano. Looks pretty good. That's right. Alcohol kills us, that's It's also true. Yeah, money doesn't bring happiness. Although we're all chasing it, right? We're all chasing this, these, these, huge, these huge gains, but nah, nothing really. Uh -huh. Let's see. Karen says, I sent you sweat coins so you could add me to the last competition because it was the only way to send a message, not follow back. Karen, we didn't we didn't do it via that way. So there's I, I talked about this for the last month and a half or so. There was this website. And I had it. It was in the link in every description of my videos for the last 45 days. And it sends you, it took you to this page. And I showed you what to do. And here was the prizes. And then I said, see if you've been in the contest. You can click here. Find out if your name was on it. And if it wasn't on it, you can go on here and click to be added to the competition. Now, the form's closed already, though, because we already did it. But the top 30 were the ones that won. So if you were able to have more than 573,000 steps in January, you would have been in the money as it were. I don't know if you were or not. Frank says, when will you stop DCing? That's a great question. And the answer, at some point, we're going to start to get blow off tops. At some point, it's going to start to really add up. <clears throat> so there's a link in the description. Looks just like, well, right here. And it says, why and when I'm selling 80% of my crypto? During that time frame, I will probably not be DCAing because I will be actively selling. It just depends. A lot of, there's a lot of factors that, that go on there. But usually if we're at a blow off top and I'm actively selling like a large amount, not like the little bit amounts that I've been selling before, um, probably we'll take a break for a couple months or so and just watch everything go down. In the last 12 years, that's pretty much how the cycle's gone. So we'll see. Mm, Matt Brunel on Coin Stories. <laughs> that's right. Anyone retired and bored is welcome to volunteer in Puerto Rico with Protechos. That's right. You can do that. Uh, so do, 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 do. Johnny Minus says, my wife got her mortgage at 2.35%. Hmm. Well, the lowest we could be is like 2.75, 3.1, somewhere around there. But okay. Uh, I started the DCA and FET a while back to take profits or hold Depends on your time frame, what you want to do. American dollar is dead. I don't think that's true. I would, if I gave you a million of those dollars, I think you would be very happy and not look at it like, you know, the lira. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, I use this. Don't bet again. Yeah, don't bet against the dollar. I need Max to hit a 50 bucks to be a million. That'd be a pretty high market cap. But who knows? It's done pretty well. It's got some greats endorsements i mean didn't have uh starbucks and nike and disney also was the other big thing oh they want to do uh ai avatars which will live on on polygon chain so i mean that's really what you want to see scott says rob does coin ledger work well with DeFi? how does it handle bridging assets between chains that a tax event if you're just wrapping ETH to Polygon, for example. I don't know about the second part. Well, 
Well, if you're wrapping ETH within Polygon, it's not like you're selling ETH. You're just wrapping it within the Polygon ecosystem, correct? So it shouldn't be, but don't take my advice for that. And then as far as can, does CoinLedger work well with DeFi? It works fine with DeFi. It's just is going to ask you a lot for your, your different wallets and go from there. And that's why, again, like this thing above my head for CoinLedger is a link in the description. You don't have to use the link. They are sponsor of the channel. But if you don't, if you can't stand using affiliate links, then don't use it. Just go to CoinLedger. And uh, that's all your tax software because taxes are coming up. Everybody's favorite time. Just kidding. Nobody likes it. Uh, can we do a three times a week NFA show? No. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't want to. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I'll tell you that in the crypto space. Like everybody thinks that like the things that, you know, because because the price doesn't move that it's, it's not really, you know, doing too much. I mean, we've had a nice little run, haven't we, lately? But like even before then, I a lot of the projects that I talked to, they were doing a lot of things behind the scenes. And there's some other there's some other projects coming up I think that could do really well, and especially in the gaming sector. So I'll let you know about those on the second channel, not this channel. Second channel is Dan Degen. It's the more risky stuff. Rob, do you miss El Paso? Sure. I miss the food. The food's great. But I'm going to go. I'll be back there in April. I got to take care of the, uh, we have the sports facility over there. It's a sand volleyball place that uh, I have to get ready to open up for the next season. So that keeps me busy. Mm. Aristotle says, Rob, you ever thought about doing a Patreon? Yes. And would you do it? No, probably not. Uh, it just seems like, like everybody's got their Patreon. I think it's cool if people can, you know, like, hey, here's thanks for this, whatever else, but I'm good. I think the only way that I would do it is... Uh, Nah, I just wouldn't do. I just wouldn't do Patreon. Just what's the point? But maybe just to make a community outside of because, like, like you guys just said, you like we liked coming here on the daily live show and then interacting. And then when that doesn't happen, then you know here we are. All right. Any more questions? We got to get over to. That's good. Going hard. Pay as you earn. If this is your Thursday, buddy. That's right, Dan G. Jen. Risky, exactly. <laughs> Portugal is from the Puerto Rico VU. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. Does Coin Ledger work with Ledger NOX? Yes, perfectly. All right, so that's it. So everybody, uh, let's see, let's see. What happened? The same thing we're looking for on the 12 hour. There you go. I'm going to drop this in the comments. Go over to Tom's channel. Go hang out. I'm going to go watch some of that. There's a link in the, the private chats there, or the chats. And that's it for today. So look, like today's video, you know what to do. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And then uh, see you later. I'm just going to go watch Tom for a bit. All right. Adios. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.